get to this eventually, but you know, I think that is the one thing for me that I have a problem with 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 all of the big ghost stories coming out now, and they are we are we are in a bit of a boom with ghost stories we at are. the moment, actually. We are, um, and a lot of these big James Wan or whoever you know Blumhouse ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. they are. They've got a lot that is good about them, but a lot that is like, okay, so, uh, yeah. if you if you shout in my face this much yeah, every yeah, 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah. You know, just uh, turn it down a little yeah. bit. You know, we don't have, have, to, have to have everything at 11. Just turn no. it down to five and a half. No, you know, sometimes, you know, you know when he, he... I think it was The Conjuring 2 where you have this kind of demonic nun that is stood there at the end of a corridor. That's scary, but I don't need flashing lights no. and loud noises with it. You know, it's creepy well, there's a great example around at the moment. There's a film called Borley Rectory yes. by Ashley Thought, which is fantastic. Cannot wait. Cannot Super wait. Superb film. Yeah. It's old fashioned in the nicest sense of yes. the word you know and it is all about there's the, literally at one point a face appears at, at the window yeah at one point a hand comes around a door yeah it's really sort of old-fashioned slow spooky ghost yeah. story stuff and it's the absolute antithesis of, of what you're talking about there where you know you get 30 seconds of silence and suddenly someone stands on a keyboard and bang yes. and that, that something pops up in your face you know this is subtle and Borley Rectory got under my skin yes in a way that you know I don't mind Insidious and I don't yeah. mind you know the, the Annabelle film some are better yeah. than others but yeah. don't mind them they're, they're not awful they're not they're great. not they're, at they're, all you couldn't say they were badly made that's not the thing. at all no they're very <laughs> slickly made perhaps yeah. too slickly perhaps yes. I think it's possible be part of the problem yes but what i find with them they don't bother me yes they don't you know i like to be bothered by a ghost story <laughs> yes. you know i like to sort of go away afterwards and think all those years of being a rationalist eh, yeah. maybe not actually maybe yeah. there is such thing as ghosts and i never get that from those big films i get a few jumps and a few scares but you know something like Borley rectory you watch it you think oh maybe yeah you know maybe there was something in that house that was that was actually you know not of this earth you yeah know? It's very scary stuff Fantastic. so you do still get these films turning up yes um you know there's an adaptation of uh, the stage play ghost stories yes absolutely around. there's a lot of really creepy stuff in it yeah things you think you see at the corner of the screen mm-hmm. and things like that and again it stays with you afterwards mm-hmm. when I think you said it earlier about the, the William Castle films that the, the the James Wan films are very much a fun ride they are. They, feel, to, they have that feel, don't yeah, they? Yeah, you go to the ghost train, at the, at the, yes. the, you scream your head off, you get off, and you're looking for some candy floss because yes. you don't care because that's, that's great. But things like, you know, Borley Rectory and The Haunting and things like that, they stay with you for a very long time. They do. If any entity is present here tonight, will it please make itself known? 